So he's defending the strongest lead in the series this weekend with a margin of 19 points. Derek was as delighted Derek Achewong starts from pole position in flamboyantly confident mode as well he might be. Alongside him on the grid and on the clock, Christmas Villarod matched his best lap and as one of the toughest racers in this series, you know he'll be trying. Cheer as well, another tough man, a hard man, never gives up, never stops trying. 15 is the tie rider, Decker Kreisert. All of the front row on the 142s. Derek 142.6, Christmas 142.6, and it's 142.7, 142.8. They're just a tenth of a second apart. 43 seconds when you get to row two. That's Yaisir Saeed, 43.15. 43.6 for Young Raihan. 43.8 for Superchai. And 44 for Sumath, who is third in the points table. Away they go, then. Last race of the season is underway. Derek Atchewan come bundling off the start line. Christmas has made a mess of it. The number three man has been passed by his teammate going into the first turn. And away up the hill comes the number one plate. He's been caught in the corner as well. Well, it is the 15 plate of Decker Chrysler who leads them up the hill. Thailand's Decker Chrysler. Here comes Derek Achuong up the inside, leans through neatly on the inside of this corner. Well, it's a difficult place to go overtaking, but Derek Achuong runs through on the inside of the number 15 machine to grab back the lead. Third place is five. That's Sumath, third in the points. Sumath could get ahead of Christmas in the points table, but he couldn't get ahead of Derek unless Derek does the unthinkable. A little bit of a wobble over the bumps there. We saw how much of a challenge that was for Nakajima. And Derek gets through, running downhill towards the chicane now. And the end of this opening lap with the number 15 bike jumping around all over the place, trying to get through. Into the chicane they go. Flick it through the turns and get on the gas now because this is the drive that carries you out onto the front straight. You want to be ready for this final right-hand corner. Lean it in and be powering it up now. Derek holds it nice and tight and gets the power down hard. But he's got the number 15 machine tucked behind him. This is where they go drafting. But Derek's got it covered. Number two plate of Chia Tuk Chong moving up, trying to get past Christmas. He shot past him in the corner. Was he too hot to hang on to it? He looks as though he has made it stick. He ran wide, but he held on to it. Christmas has got the drive coming up the hill. Chrysler is trying to get the drive on Derek. They are two and two. Derek Atuong on the inside as the 15 machine goes round all the long way and into the lead. He's done it. Well, Derek passed him up the inside on the previous lap, but now Decker Chrysler has passed him on the outside to grab the lead. And the 150s are once again as exciting as bike racing ever gets. This championship is so ferociously competitive, so fiercely contested by these riders. Derek Achewong just with the advantage over Chrysler, and this is what he wants, because right now his championship rival, Christmas Villaraj, is back in fourth place, and Derek can afford to race with the other tie rider all afternoon if he wants to. It won't change anything in the championship all the time. Christmas is in fourth spot. How long will that last? Here's Chia Tuk Chiong, number two, up into third place. Ferociously competitive rider, again, Spent some time at the Kenny Roberts Training Ranch in Barcelona, where the school's instructors thought he might even be too competitive if there is such a thing. And he runs up the inside of the number 15 bike to grab second spot. So it's Thailand's Derek Achuong from Malaysia's Chia Tuk Chiong. Thailand in third and fourth places as they come up this long, long straight. And here comes Chia having a look up the inside. Derek's just a little bit too quick going into the corner, and Chia can do nothing about it. Oh, yes, he can! Chia cuts through on the inside. Well, Chia took Chiang, did that one absolutely perfectly, ran out wide and let Derek back through, but he just sliced through there after it looked as though the challenge was over. Through went Chia. 
four riders in this leading group as they pull away from the rest of the field. The championship will be decided somewhere here. Derek is in a championship winning position anywhere in the top four. Anywhere in the top seven can come to that. He doesn't have to race for these guys if they get carried away with it. He can quite safely back off and let them go. But for the time being, Derek Achua, oh, and there's just a lot of action coming down the hill as well. They may have broken away, but they haven't broken that far away. The next pack isn't that far off the back wheel of the Christmas Millerage machine. Coming out of the final corner now as Derek makes his move. Through underneath cheer on the brakes, Derek Achuong carry the speed out to the far side of the track and get the drive down. This is the uphill thing. You've got to be driving hard coming out onto this long straight. Christmas still at the back end of this group, perhaps content to see what happens. And again, Chia makes his move on Derek running into this corner a little earlier than before. He ran wide and gave Derek the opportunity to come back at him very quickly last time because he made the move too late in the corner. This time he's done it earlier and made it stick, but Derek is already coming back at him down through the sweeping right. And it is Derek Achuong, Chia Tuk Chong, Christmas Villaraj, pops into third place. Good afternoon, Christmas. Here he comes. Derek is preoccupied. He has got Chia Tuk Chong climbing all over him. And Christmas Villaraj has decided that now is the time. Christmas knows very well that he can win this race, but he can't win the championship. Derek has got to lose it for Christmas to claim it. Derek has got to make a mistake, got to have a moment, got to seize the bike, something like that, or Christmas Villaroy cannot win the crown. This kind of close racing, this kind of pressure, this is Christmas Villaroy's only hope of claiming the crown, and he knows it. He must be delighted that Derek has responded to the challenge and wants to win this final race, because it is his only prayer at the title. And he has got... That number 15 machine dancing around behind him. Well, Decker Chrysler hasn't decided yet whether to pack it in. He's just beginning to lose touch as they come up the straight. Christmas is tucked in the draft, comes out alongside Chia Tuk Chong. Derek is still there. Christmas is second. What Christmas needs is to hit the front, lead this race, and let Derek get involved with the others while Christmas picks up maximum points. They're closing on the tail end traffic. This is where it could get decisive. The way you come up on tail enders, whether they know you're there, whether they move aside, all that makes a difference. Christmas in the lead. It's number three, Christmas Villarage. Nice clean pass into the lead ahead of Derek Achuong. Chia Tuk Chong is in third place. This is what Christmas Villarage needs for the crowd. And for the time being, at least, it makes little or no difference to Derek Achuong. He is still the champion in second place. Or third place come to that as Cheer has it. Oh, and Christmas was the one who got it all wrong. And Derek comes swooping through to grab back the lead. Well, Cheer was getting a little bit excited in the background, but Christmas left a little tiny door open. And Derek Atuon just flitted through the gap. Absolutely wonderful stuff from Derek Atuon. Christmas coming back hard at the end of the straight. But Derek letting him know that it isn't going to be easy, whatever else it might be, however else it happens, it's not going to be easy for Christmas Villarage. Derek going to race him all the way to the chequered flag. If you can't have the title, the next best thing is the last chequered flag of the year. A little bit of elbowing starting to creep into the racing there, I think. Christmas Villarage not averse to giving his opponents a friendly boot on his way round the corners. Just looks as if he might be reminding Chia Tuk Chiong that the elbow can be used legitimately in road racing, or illegitimately it should be. Just starting to get a bit physical. Christmas is one of the hardest men out there. And Chia Tuk Chiong will not just lie down and surrender. Oh, and look at Derek Achuong. They touched then, I'm sure they touched. Achuong just sweeping across the front of Christmas Villaroy. And this is absolutely brilliant stuff. This is as close as bike racing will ever be. 110, 125, 250, 500, you name it. It never gets any better than this. They are 
fast, stopping places all the way around the circuit, overtaking in places where you should not be overtaking. Christmas from Derek, from Chia Tuk Chiong. And they come out onto the front straight. They are three abreast. Derek's on the inside. And Derek, and they are running towards the flag. Derek Atuan comes through on the inside and just snatches it on the line. Well, Christmas thought he got it made. But Derek Atuan <laughs> delighted with that one. And so he should be. What a pass from the defending champion. It doesn't make a scrap of difference. He is the 1998 champion as well, but he's also won the last race of the year with a racer's move on the final corner. Absolutely brilliant stuff. A tremendous move on that final lap gives Diri Kachuong the win and the title in no uncertain terms. He could have tooled around in fifth or sixth place and still been champion. But instead, he battled for the win all the way to the flag. And he takes his third win of the year to be champion again, ahead of Christmas, Sumath and Cheer in the points, with that dazzling pass out of the final corner. There are champions and there are champions, but Derek Atuong has been a constant source of surprise in this series. He launched a determined fight back from round two last year to claim his second crown. And he's battled hard at every single race this year to stamp his authority on the series yet again. And let's not forget that he's brushed aside opposition from Christmas Village, one of the hardest bike races I've ever seen, and also from Chia Chuk Chiong, another of the super tough, super aggressive riders sprung from Malaysia's Cup Prix Championship. So he has every reason and every right to celebrate what is indisputably a fantastic career highlight. This race very nice and very good. Good. So you're happy? Yes, very happy. I never dream a uh, three-year contest consecutive. Yeah, very yes. Sir. And who could have done? So far, the only repeat winner in any championship category. Derek has earned his right to a wild card entry in the 125 Malaysian Grand Prix next year, and that's the next time we'll see him race. The season is over for the Asian Championship, and the bikes go back in their boxes until April next year, when the series enters a fourth successful season, still the only FIM-sanctioned international series in Asia.